Hey everybody, how is it going? I am Lucas and welcome back to another episode of Amps of the Axe Effect Street. Today we're checking out possibly one of the most underrated but coolest Marshall preamp ever made and that is the JMP1 preamp. Guys, this is the first time you've been here or if you've been here before, make sure you are subscribed. We do lots of cool gear demos, we do giveaways and I don't want you to miss any of that. Alright, let's jump right into the JMP. So the JMP-1 was released in the 90s, and it's essentially a uh, preamp, sort of like the, the Mesa Tri-Axis, and it has like a ton of Marshall's classic sounds all in one nice little preamp. And the cool thing about this is you can match it with any power amp you want. So you can put it with a Mesa, an Engel power amp, whatever you want, and you can create some pretty unique tones. And the Axe effects, we, we have two JMPs. We have the Brit Pre, which was one of the first ones that was in the Axe FX. And since so many uh, prominent A-list artists liked it and used it, Clef decided to keep it in. But we also have the JMP one, which it was kind of remodeled and, and redone. What it is, it says right here, is a, this is the X-Amp guide is where I'm getting my information. It's a JMP one's mini controllable rack mounted to preamp based on the JCM 900 Marshall's amp from the 90s, which a lot of people don't like the JMC uh, 900s. They like the 800s um, a lot better. And this isn't to be confused with the current JMP1 baby. Uh, I, the JMP1 first preamp, like everyone loves this one. I, I don't I haven't heard too much um, good things about the baby. I haven't really tried it. I really don't know. If you've tried the baby, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, basically, the JMP has four modes. It has two cleans, an OD1 and OD2. In the Axe FX, we just have the OD models. Model. We have four different ones. We have uh, OD1, we have OD1 base shift, and we have OD2 and OD2 base shift. And as you can see uh, down here, they actually put in all of the different presets uh, from the JMP. The ways, the easy way I like to remember it is the the first OD is basically like a super lead or like a plexi. It says over here, it's basically like a super lead or a plexi. And your other OD2, that one is more of uh, like a JCM 800 slash 900 um, higher gain type of uh, sound there. So enough of me talking, nickety yakketing. Let's actually check out how it sounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through uh, OD1, OD2 bass shift, and then OD2 bass shift, and I'll cycle um, the pickup selector. Oh my guitar, this is a Tom Anderson Cobra S. It has HC1 pickup in the neck, HC3 in the bridge. These are Anderson pickups. So you're going to start in the bridge and go all the way to the neck. Now this is OD I like about OD1 is it's very open and um, it's it has a light breakup going on I mean I could even pull back the gain even more you can even jack it up a little more if you want you have a lot of flexibility and like I said I like it that it's very open very plexi sound and we have tons of plexi here's an axe fix so this is just another variety IR wise we are using the ML mega green this is a Mesa oversized 412 cab with some of the best Celestian greenbacks ever made I love it for like lower uh, lower to mid gain type of stuff. I think it sounds great in that aspect. And uh, EQ wise, I most for most of these, I'm just gonna scoop the mids because Mesas have so much mids. So I'm just gonna scoop the mids out of there. I literally did not touch any other DAB tab in here. I just did authentic and um, I did the output EQ. That's literally all I touched. Uh, so let's move on to the um, bass shift. So basically, what the bass shift is is it shifts like kind of like from a hundred, I guess you could say around there to like a little bit into the lower mids. It kind of gives you like a little bit of a bass bump. So I'll back, bounce back and forth between um, OD1 bass shift and the normal OD2. OD1, excuse me.
So as you can see, the base shift does shift that base in there, it makes it a little bit more meaty. And look, look where I have the base knob on both. I have the base knob higher on OD1 and there's not as much base, but if you go to OD2, it's lower and there's much more base. I purposely dialed in OD1 to be a little less basic because I kind of wanted to show you what it sounded like when you added the base shift on there. Uh, we're going to be using the same IR through everything, by the way, just to show you that there. And once again, look, scooped a little bit of mids, and um, it's pretty much the same. I had to turn the volume up a little bit more on um, the BS mode of OD1, the base shift. I find it, there is a difference. They, they sound a little bit different. They're a little... Um, they're not exactly the same channel, in, in my opinion. Like, they are, but they aren't. Like, this one has its own, like, unique flavor, um, even though they both are OD1. I think I like the base shift one a little bit more. I No particular rhyme or reason. I just sort of do. So, let's check out OD2. Now, this is going to be the higher gain one. Same thing like on OD1. I'll just play a little bit, and I'll cycle my pickup position. <laughs> What I like about OD2 is it is higher gain, it is more compressed as compared to OD1, but it has this really, really sweet, uh, creamy mid-range to it, which uh, I like a lot. It's not overbearing. Um, like I said, you do have some mids you gotta scoop out of here, because, watch, let me just show you what it sounds like with the EQ off. There is a slight scoop in there, but I'm just kind of getting a lot of that haziness that um that i'm hearing on my end uh by the way so let's move over to od2 base shift and let me let i'm gonna do same thing before uh bounce back and forth between them and let you hear the difference <laughs> I don't know which one I like more out of the two. I think I like OD2, just the normal one. No particular reason, just kind of how I dialed it in. I tried to dial them in a little bit different. As you can hear, there is a little bit more of an oomph on the base um, shift ones. On both of the base shift channels, there's a little bit more oomph. They are very different though. Like you, If you put the knobs exactly the same on both, they are gonna sound a little bit different. Um, let's, let's hear what it sounds like when you um, dime the crap out of the drive. I'm just going to put it like right there. Let's see what that sounds like. <laughs> Thank you. 
find they kind of peak and sound the best kind of in, anywhere in between uh, four and a half to like seven ish somewhere and it just depends on your pickups depends on a lot of things actually but that's what i find that they sound the best at all right guys that is gonna wrap it up for the jmp one guys if you thought this video was cool leave me a thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it now you better make sure you are subscribed i would highly 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 recommend it because on the next episode of amps of the axe effects 3 we are going to be checking out the fender blues jr now this amp is really really popular uh, among beginners and guitarists who are just starting out because it's a, a very good amp it's not that expensive um, but it sounds really good. And here in the Axe Effects, we have um, we have Junior Blues and we have it in, in Fat. That's what it's called here, the Junior Blues. So we have two different positions that we're going to check now. Um, this thing sounds really great for cleans. We're going to explore some cleans. We're going to explore it with some drives. And guys, I don't want you to miss it. So make sure you are subscribed. Guys, thank you so much for watching and checking out the content that we got going on here. I really do appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace.